Let's turn to our weather now. We are dealing with some serious heat today. Kick on News Meteorologist Paul Deano is back with your next weather forecast. You know, Paul, some of us had just kind of gotten used to the cooler weather and yeah, we had a just couple like weeks that. Of it. I know, and, and October often gives us this. We'll get October yeah. heat, but there are different levels of October heat. We would call 95 degrees hot. We would call 102 hot. 114 in the San Fernando Valley. That's not just hot. That's hotter than we ever have been since climate records began, and that's more than 100 years ago in the San Fernando Valley. In the mountains above the marine layer, think of the atmosphere as a multi-layer cake. It's 6,000 feet. That's a couple layers up. Never cooled off last night. You were in the mid-70s, currently 87 degrees. Let's talk more about Woodland Hills, and rightfully so, because before yesterday, the hottest temperature in October ever at that recording station is at Pierce College, in case you're curious, uh, was in 1980. We hit 110 degrees. That's a big number. Yesterday, 113, and today conditions in the atmosphere are conducive to bump it up a degree or two, we went one degree hotter, 114 degrees. We'll let you know this evening where we landed. Uh, for the Inland Empire, second straight day with an excessive heat warning. That would be the red color you see on the map behind me. That includes much of Metro LA County, Eastern Ventura County, and the Santa Clarita Valley and the mountains. And speaking of the mountains, when it's really hot, often the relative humidity drops below 15%. That is a critical mark. And there's a red flag warning for extreme fire danger in the mountains of L.A. County and Ventura County. So San Bernardino, amazingly, if I just told you that, 106, wow, that's so hot. I just showed you Woodland Hills at 114. So oddly, when you compare the two, it's not as hot in the Inland Empire. It's still really hot. Tomorrow, 103, Friday, 101. So we're trending downward. The peak of the heat is today. We're still well above average for the next several days. Ontario today. 94 degrees currently on your way up to a high of about 106. Chino 104. Even in the mountains, Wrightwood Big Bear pushing 90 degrees. Palmdale 104 degrees. The only place to cool off would be our beaches, which will be in the 70s and low 80s. Simi Valley will be right around 100 degrees. So we have this big ocean and we have air above it, which runs really chilly. The ocean's about 65 degrees right now. But when the flow of air is not coming from that direction, that air just stays there. Often it gets pushed into our backyards, but not when the wind is coming from the east and the winds are wrapping around this area of high pressure off of Northern California. In that spot, we're not gonna cool down because our breeze is coming from the other direction. 106 for the Inland Empire today, 100 or 101 all the way through Sunday. Uh, for our valleys, that's just a really large number, 114 today. I think we're gonna cool down uh, several degrees Thursday and Friday, but still be above 100, then back up to 108 this weekend. And for the metro area, not record heat in Los Angeles, but staying consistently hot. We're going to be in the 90s from today all the way through next Monday. Amy, back to you. All right, Paul, thanks so much. Now you can get your KCAL News weather and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.